Today we will be talking about uses of radioisotopes. Radioisotopes are widely used in medicine, industry, and scientific research. New applications for their use are constantly being developed. In many cases, radioisotopes have no substitute, and in most of their applications, they are more effective than alternative techniques. Here are a list of topics that will be discussed in today's video. First off, what are radioisotopes? A radioisotope is an atom with an unstable nucleus. The unstable nucleus decays and releases energy and subatomic particles. The decay comes in the form of an alpha particle, a beta particle, or a gamma ray. The half-life is the time in which half the radioisotope takes to decay. It varies depending on the isotope and is a characteristic property of a radioisotope. And the reason why half-lives are important is that doctors use radiopharmaceuticals or radioactive drugs to detect problems within a body organ. Radioisotopes that have short half-lives are often used in these drugs to minimize the radiation dose to the patient. Because they have such short half-lives, they are able to decay to stable elements within minutes, hours, or days, and allow the patient to be released from the hospital within a relatively short time. Nuclear medicine uses radiation to provide information about the function of specific organs, ongoing biological processes, or the state of a specific illness. The information is used to make a diagnosis of the patient's illness. In certain cases, radiation can be used to treat diseased organs or tumors. Nuclear imaging is a technique that uses radioisotopes that emit gamma rays from within the body. To get the isotopes within the body, a radiopharmaceutical is given orally, injected, or inhaled. It is then detected by a gamma camera, which is used to create a computer image that can be viewed by the physician. Nuclear imaging measures the function of a part of the body by measuring the distribution of the radioisotope. The information obtained by nuclear imaging tells the physician how much a given part of a person's body is functioning. How it works is that by measuring the distribution or accumulation of the radioisotope, it can show the position and concentration of the radioisotope. If very little of the radioisotope has been taken up, a cold spot will show on the screen, indicating that blood is not getting through. A hot spot, on the other hand, may indicate tissue damage or organ damage. These damaged areas are known as infarctions. Uh, nuclear imaging is also useful for detecting blood cell disorders and improper functioning of organs, aneurysms, which are weak spots in the blood vessel walls, irregular blood flow to various tissues and tumors. As you can see in this picture, uh, this, these are the hands of a person with rheumatoid arthritis. The bright areas indicate damaged areas or joints that are inflicted by arthritis, and these appear as hot spots on the gamma camera. Radiation therapy is a treatment method that uses high energy radiation to kill cancer cells. Radiation therapy can be external or internal. The picture on your right is an example of external radiation therapy. In this treatment method, the patient is exposed to radiation emitted from a machine. In internal radiation therapy, radioisotopes are placed in the patient's body near the cancer cells. It kills the cancer cells by damaging their DNA or creates charged particles known as free radicals within the cells that it can in turn 
damage the DNA. About half of all cancer patients receive some sort of radiation therapy sometime during the course of their treatment. 